What is up guys? This is Chad with iKnowE6.com and this is a 777 E6 review of their new E hookah. And this is what it's gonna look like when you get it. A little bit intimidating, but no worries. I'm gonna walk you through how to assemble this bad boy. Uh, once you get it assembled, it's gonna look a little something like this, or it will look like this unless you got the blue vase. And uh, let me just go ahead and get you started. First thing you're gonna do is get you your vase, your bowl, whatever you wanna call it, fill it up with some water. Uh, in the manual, it actually recommends to use bottled water, uh, but for this review, I actually just kept using tap water. Didn't seem to have any problems. So once you get that filled, you're going to want to install your base, which is the device I'm putting in right now. And after you have your base installed, you're going to attach your hoses, which will attach in a clockwise motion just by screwing them into your base. Now I had some trouble because I was trying to bend around and show you guys how to do it, but uh, it's really easy, really simple, and it probably took me about three to four minutes to assemble this entire hookah. So once you got your hookah hoses on, you're going to be uh, set to fill your cartridges. And these are blank cartridges that are specifically made for the e-hookah. They can only be used with it. And they come in a sealed plastic bag. And this is what it looks like outside of the plastic bag. Notice the tip has a point on it, which makes it really cool because you can just easily grab the tip and pull it out to apply your e-liquid. Now for this review, I use the vanilla mint, which I found pretty interesting. Uh, thing to note about the e-liquids is that they have, the dripper has a curved tip on it, so it makes it really easy to fill your cartridges. So this is me just showing you how to fill the cartridge real quick. All right, now I'm applying my rubber tip back to it. And let's get this thing installed inside the hose. Now with the hose, all you have to do is pull the cover off. It does not twist. And then you'll simply screw your cartridge into the bottom side of the hose. And then put your cover back on. Easy enough. All right, now it's time to install your battery. Now make sure when you're installing this battery that you you don't tighten it too much. The LED indicator on the hose will show you when it's attached by blinking. So just be sure to, not to over tighten. And then once you got it on, you're lighting up triple sevens and you're ready to vape. And this is pretty heavy vapor. So during this review, what I did um, is I really used the hookah a lot while I was just chilling, um, playing video games or watching movies to get the, the, the real feel of the device. Um, because it is an entertainment vape, it's it's not a quick fix for nicotine. It's, uh, it's enjoyable. I mean, that's what it is. It, it really is enjoyable. So cool things to note about, about this device is one, you can get three to four hours of vaping time out of it, which is which is nice. Um, another thing that I that was really cool was I got to use both hoses with two different flavors. So if I wanted to switch between flavors, it was seamless. It was really easy. And um, I just, I really enjoyed the experience of using the device. So um, another cool thing, the authenticity of it, as you're using the device, you actually have bubbles in the vase. The water bubbles up just like a, like a regular hookah. So I, th I thought that was pretty cool. Um, as far as charging the device, you has it has a wall charger with a USB attachment. And that'll just plug right into the top of the uh, 777 battery, the e hookah battery. And there you have it. An electronic hookah brought to you by 777 E6. I know, it's crazy, right? As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me an email at iknowe6 at gmail.com. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and please subscribe. Dude, this 777 E6 hookah is sick. Check out the links below if you're watching this video on YouTube.